I quit my high paying job in the tech industry and moved to Montana to pursue my dream of starting my own whiskey distillery. Just around $25,000 to my name and a few pieces of equipment I brought with me, we're starting from scratch. Will our whiskey distillery be successful? We'll find out. This is Whiskey RP. Yeah, I made some decisions on the logging and the sawmill. Let's head on over there. First of all, thanks for all the comments. You can see we do have 9,200 planks or 9,200 logs left in here. And there's nothing here. So we have it set up. Let's jump into the production. And we have it set up to selling. And then we also have a mod in here that allows us to change the direct selling factor. I put it to 0.85. So the way we're role playing this, and we're gonna go pick up some more equipment, but this is a business venture. We hired a distribution manager and a selling, or you know, a logistics, someone in logistics or transportation, I guess we could say a transportation manager, let's call them that. And they're going to be the ones selling the goods for us. So let's head on over to the store and let's talk to them about getting a truck for the new manager. All right, for $34,000, we got this nice truck here with a little flatbed on it. So they're gonna be able to load everything up to this flatbed, take multiple trips to the store, but this truck's basically just gonna stay at the sawmill and we're just role playing it as this, as this is the vehicle for transportation. If we end up expanding the sawmill operation to have multiple sawmills or multiple productions, we can, you know, upgrade the equipment, maybe put a trailer on this as well, a low loader. That might actually make sense anyways, since we do have the fifth wheel attachment there. We'll go ahead and jump into the construction mode here and paint out a nice little parking area for him. A little wider. There, grab our dirt back. Clean this up a little bit. There we go. And this, gosh, this mod kind of worries me. It's not completely flat. Maybe we, uh-oh. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. That's going to be there forever now. Nope, we don't want to do that. We want, okay, we're not going to do the white lines. We're just going to pretend that didn't happen. And we're going to enjoy that being there. And maybe I'll figure out how to remove that later. But that's going to live there. Aye, aye, aye. And that's how we're going to roleplay that. Let me know if you think it's cheesy. I think it's a brilliant idea. And let's get to work on the farm. We never put the seat, the planter away. We can see we have some sugar beets growing that are infested with weeds. And we'll get that going. We'll hire somebody, like we mentioned. The, the new worker program is going to come in handy. We'll get a worker on the hoe getting rid of those weeds while we prepare the new soybean field. So yeah, income's going to come in fast and throughout the day, every hour, we should sell what we have. So that'll be nice. We do have enough to pay off our debt, which we probably will do soon. I'm going to go ahead and get this started while we have our helper helping out on the other field right now. Just wanted to start getting this cleaned up and then we'll switch jobs. And we'll focus primarily on the new soybean field. And oh, what do we have over here? We have growth and look at this, we are a month early. We can clean all this up too. Awesome, that answers that. And got a nice nice comment telling me I had the implements on the wrong side. I, yeah, you need to cultivate or mulch first and then cultivate in the back. That completely makes sense. Uh, we'll get that fixed next time. But yeah, we'll get this, basically the end rows here done and the head, the whole headland and then switch on over. Just want to make sure they don't accidentally go into the soybean field as we get moving and making progress over there. What in the world? I don't understand what's happening there. Maybe it doesn't have enough power to actually do this. Try this direction, see if it's any different. It seemed to be going fine until we got to that spot and it just got stuck and there's nothing there. I don't see anything. Doesn't like it right here. Let's see if it stops this direction. It is. Some imaginary issue going on here. So oh, strange. All right, got it done. Threw me for a loop there. I don't, I don't get that. Let's see if it does it this direction too. Seems to be working okay. Imaginary, magical spot there. Interesting. 
Yeah, let's get this headland finished and uh, get on with our plans for the day. All right, so we got our worker helped here and just in time because we need to refill the slime tank. Very nice. Went ahead and got five pallets delivered. Let's go ahead and head on over here and fill her on up. Just kind of waiting for nine o'clock to see what kind of money comes in per hour from this because we did skip overnight when I first enabled the, the sawmill setup. And I think we are going to spend a little bit more money on a low loader potentially. We'll look at the trailers that are compatible with that truck and make the decision from that. Man, I did my math wrong. I thought five was going to fit in here. But looking at the field, I think we'll need at least at least those other two bags. And we'll go ahead and get this set back up. And because I'm going to make do some things at 9 o'clock, I'm going to go ahead and have another worker go ahead and keep on trucking on for us. Cost us a little bit more money, but that'll be good. And let's go ahead and head over to the sawmill and talk to the production manager and see how we're looking at nine. Silly white line. All right, it tipped over. It was a couple thousand. It was like 4,000, 3,000 maybe. It doesn't show us the amounts, but we were at 72 and now we're at 77. And we went ahead and had this 24 foot trailer dropped off. It was 9,500 as you can see. And let's make sure it can hook up. And I think that finishes the, the role playing over here. Um. Gotta line it up perfect, or is it not actually compatible? Well, okay. We're just gonna RP it. It's just gonna sit right here forever. Like it's hooked up. All right, that'll do it. I think that's pretty sweet. Nice little setup there. Got it all hooked up, but the, yeah, yeah. It's good, it's good. All right, we're gonna now take over Lime, and we gotta figure out something with these wood chips. Uh, we got to find a new storage place for them. They're just piling up. Right, with all those purchases, we do have enough money to take over or pay off the debt, but I want to wait for those a little bit more because we won't have very much money to buy fertilizer seed and lime. So we need to make sure we get everything taken care of this month before, maybe by noon. If we make enough money off the sawmill, we can do that. We could check on the maple production. I know we're still on back orders. Let's actually do that. Yeah, we got a few pallets here. We'll go ahead and get those to the distribution plant so we can make some money off of them. I'm sure there's no traffic. Traffic's kind of dead this morning. Interesting. And there we go. Let's this be about 2,400 bucks. Yeah, 2,400. So that gets us a little bit closer to feeling comfortable paying off the 59,000 that's left. Get that one last pallet moved over here. And another 1200 to our name coming in right about now. There it is. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how we look about noon money-wise. And potentially make a decision on that there. And we need more lime. So we'll head back over to that worker and take care of that. And we're pretty close to getting to plant the soybeans. I'm excited about that. Gosh, I forgot how much lime this field takes. We'll use both of these and see what we have left after that. And then we'll maybe buy one or two more. I'm guessing we're going to need two more. Went ahead and bought the last two bags. I think we will go ahead and use... I don't think we'll use all of it, but definitely worth getting that going. So we can just get this job done. And you can see they're getting very close to being done with the weeds in the sugar beet field. So very productive morning so far. And another about $3,000 per hour, it looks like we're making off the sawmill. So that's what we thought. So it'd be pretty cool to have a very consistent income. And all we have to do is uh, some lumberjack work and populate the sawmill every once in a while. Make sure it has enough inventory. Not a bad setup. All right, all the weeding is done. We just need to do another application of fertilizer later on today. And I'm sending this worker home. That's all we're going to need them for today. We might keep the other one around for a couple other tasks, but I think the rest of the work I'm going to do myself today. So let's get this put away. We'll go meet up with the other temporary worker up there to see how they're doing with the lime. And they should be all finished up by the time we get to that location. All done. Very nice. So this is in good shape, good condition to get the cedar hooked up and plant some soybeans. So we will do that next, and hopefully we have enough seed. I'm not sure, we might have to buy some more seed. Barley's coming along nice, should be only a few months from now. It'll be really nice to do a harvest on this farm again. Got a good amount of product in here already, but it never hurts to top up, so we'll go ahead and get it completely full with goods here. And there we go. 
Yeah, we'll be back a few times. We need to get a truck and a trailer specifically for removing these products around for us to get them closer to the fields when we need to refill. That would be a good idea. Another hour ticked over. We're at $75,000 now. We're getting closer to me feeling comfortable shutting off the... Or paying off the loan. Maybe, yeah, like we said, noon. We'll, re we'll regroup at noon on that. But let's go ahead and get some soybeans in the ground here. And our first application of fertilizer as well. Looking very, very good so far. Looks like we're about halfway done, maybe. And we're going to need to go fill up with seed. So this is going really good. It's looking good. And I remembered we have grass to cut. I'm not sure we'll get to that this episode. But that is another thing on our plate another way to make money we don't need a lot of hay for these sheep they're still got backup food i haven't had to move any food in the last few months uh it seems like those aren't very hungry sheep so you know more more will come like there'll be more babies there'll be more sheep but it's i'm a little confused in how how long that food's lasting but it's uh working in our favor so i guess i shouldn't complain yeah, let's get this topped off and get it all finished up. And we can move on to fertilizing the soy or the sugar beets. And we're purchasing a couple bags of seed as well because we ran out. There we go. And grab a little more fertilizer. Why not? And because we can, we'll top off on a little bit of fuel. More than enough there. And we need to do maintenance on this soon again, it looks like. But I don't, I don't know if we're going to do that before we sell it. Almost a full pallet of wool. Good job, sheep. And back at it. Nice and relaxing day of seeding. Just a little strip miss there. We'll be able to turn around and get that. But we are all done planting these soybeans, and it feels good. It feels good to get all of these crops prepared. We just got to do a little bit of fertilizer work over the next few months, and as well as we'll probably get some weed growth in this field. So we'll have to take care of that you know, very soon. And that was the worst turnaround I've ever done. But we pulled it off. Yeah, so some fertilizer needs to go down in March. No, what comes after April? May. In May. And then uh, we need to do fertilizer on the sugar beets. So we could do both of those at the same time in May. Might not be too bad. Maybe we'll do that. And we'll focus on the grapevines, getting those prepared today. So yeah, let's go put this away. We'll get on the Landini and get those implements on the right sides this time. And get the grapes all prepped. And it's 1 o'clock. It's 1.30. We have $81,000. Once we put this away, I think we will call the bank and get out of debt for good. All right, let's get the mulcher hooked up on the front. And we'll back up to the subsoiler here get it hooked up to the back so it does not make sense to mulch up what we just plowed yeah <laughs> silly but this will be nice we're gonna start in the middle because the side always confuses me i always feel like i'm too far away so we'll go ahead and grab a middle row here oh we have some rain coming in here soon oh we forgot to make a phone call so special redemption here we will pay off fifty nine thousand two hundred and thirty five dollars will let us do that 235 it does and it's all paid off there are some pennies there so we wanted to get all of it paid off go ahead and lower both of these and it's doing a thing very nice three miles an hour taking care of everything here yeah guess it's doing its thing see if we can notice any changes on the map let's get rid of growing got cultivated plowed cultivated and oh i guess that's just one color for that let's get all of these out of here yeah i guess we'll see how that looks afterwards was mulch one of them oh that's the growth here we go. Okay, so we want mulched not showing up. Oh, I guess I I just I'll, I'm gonna look up some tutorials on on the grapes. I I don't get it. I I feel like you should have to get all of this close stuff. But these are the default or the vanilla game mods or implements. 
So you'd think this is what you need to do, and it's a little skinny compared to the width. I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I guess I, I mentioned this in season one. My assumption is that we are mulching this up, cultivating it a little bit so that the growth in this area doesn't take away from the growth of the grapevines. That's how it works in my head. Let me know if... Let me know if there's somebody who has a good video to walk through how this works. And just finishing this last end row here. It's going good. I think I think it's good. We'll fertilize this as well today. And I hope we have some liquid fertilizer in the tank. I think we do. But, I, you know, looking at this, it seems like it's in good shape for losing nine months on the farm and basically a whole year of grape harvest yeah it seems good slow going we have twenty five thousand dollars to our name and tonight i'm gonna work on the paperwork to apply for that liquor license and make sure that we're all set before we get the distillery back which you know, i think you'll be surprised at how quick we can get all this stuff back and start making whiskey at least i'm optimistic and I'm pessimistic by nature. We do have 53%, which from what I remember should be plenty. And I don't remember if this folds or raises, it doesn't. Okay, so this should be a quick job. Start in this first one and it should get both. Oh, turned it on a little too soon and ran into a vine. But it should get both sides here. We'll scoot up just a little bit there and see fertilizer bonus oh we're stuck there we go 91 per 77 percent so i'm not sure how they're fertilized so we will do two applications even though some of it is showing already yeah we're zooming through here very nice yeah some of it's getting its second coat of fertilization some of it only has one so we will do this again in a few months time and another job complete on the farm feels great why did that not shut off? There we go. It feels good. It feels real good making some progress. We're at $29,000. That is that is ours. And the only thing left to do today is to make sure there's enough wood in the sawmill. And I will do that off camera because we're not going to do that every episode. That's just silly. I'll get that taken care of, but it's been an interesting episode. We got all of our debt paid off and we're, we're getting ready to to really speed up the progress here on whiskey rp i'm socks way up i can't back up and i will catch you on the next episode